This is Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. Wake your ass up what? on Saturday morning for the weekend work yeah. with my man Coach PR, Back. DJ Caesar, Back. and Machine Gun Motherfucking Back. Kelly today. Yeah. Go to work. Triple A Shade Four Five Weekend Work DJ DJ Caesar Superstar Torch Coach PR and we got the Wild Boy. Special, a special guest. Let's give a real live hand clap, right? Okay, yeah. ready, ready. Everybody, clap it up. Because we had a good day Thursday. We had a good day Thursday. A great day. Man. We had a good day. Great day. Man. What happened on Thursday? What happened on Thursday? Tell MGK. Tell them what happened on Thursday. Oh, we came. We came through the spot, and I, I was chefing up burgers for the hood all day. Now, what, what was the hood saying about the burgers? I, I yo, I went to one dude specifically. My man was like, oh, you about to cook the burgers? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'll be the judge of how good they are. So I was like, specifically went and chefed up my burgers. And I said, my man, you come here. And we, you know what I'm saying? He took them and he ate, he ate them. And he was like, it's official. It's the best burger I ever ate in my life. Damn, son. What you put in there? What's your ingredients? You got an MGK special sauce or something? Some wild shit. <laughs> it wasn't no weed in there though. It wasn't no marijuana because it was underage, so that would never happen. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they loved it. They loved the burgers. They though. did. They, they did. did. Yeah, yeah. It. The vibe was crazy. Queens. It's my first real experience in Queens too, so it was like, uh, you know what I'm saying. So thank you yeah, for no, that. Thank you know you, what I mean. Man. Thank All you. All the man. other Queens experiences like coming to America. You know what I'm saying. Word, word, word. Hey, uh, take care of this for me, will you? <laughs> 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 That's a dope experience and all that. We couldn't get Arsenio. We had one better, so this is good. Now I gotta ask him real quick because he's on the tour with Lim Biscuit right now, right? Yeah. Oh, dude. So what's that like? It's fucking nuts. I could imagine. That's why I had to ask right away. Like Lim Biscuit is that's crazy. Yeah. Actually, the, the New York City show is weird. There was this. Have you ever been in Times Square and seen that 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 girl? She's gorgeous. She but she's naked and she like paints her body like the American flag. Yes, I've seen her. You've seen her, right? Yes. Yo, she's really hot. Hot. She was there last night, like on the side of the stage, and like she we brought her on the stage, and I just got on my knees and saluted her and her beautiful breasts. You know what I mean? And it was you saluted just, breasts. Yeah. She had the American flag on, on, her, breast. on her breast. What about down there? You didn't. She had, yeah. She had stars. She, she had stars and stripes down there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you should have started singing the Star Spangled Banner to that. You know what I mean? That's funny. Yeah, but yeah, that, that, yeah. It's been, it's just been crazy, man. It's just loud music, loud attitude. It's just like real. Just, I don't like. I like the word attitude a lot because I feel like that's what music's missing now. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So like, uh, I don't know, like reformed and like. Planned, you know what I'm saying? It's just this this tour is just attitude, and it's just the the shows are wild. And, and, yeah, and then Limp Bizkit, I grew up listening to them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I grew up idolizing them. They like meshed hip hop with rock, and they did it so fucking good. And that's like obviously like the lane that we did that 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 the urban rock. Yeah, we kind of have that a little bit, you know, the urban rock, the urban rock star. So it's just been a great tour for me. Now, can we expect any Limp Bizkit, MGK collabos in the near future? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Already in the bag, or it's already being talked about, or what's going on? Yeah, the first night me and Fred ever met, we went and got, we went to a bar. We like went, we went to one place, and we decided it was too fancy, right? right? And so we just said fuck it, and we both showed up by ourselves. We didn't show up with people, and we both showed up by ourselves. And we just ended up walking the strip in L.A., going in places, and we're right. like, nah, it's too fancy, nah, it's too loud. Went to this place, and we got drunk, and then we went to the studio around later. Robin, did you take drinks in all those places like around Robin then? Oh, you didn't drink in those spots? We, we didn't drink in those oh, spots. Okay. We just went to one spot and drank everything at that one spot. Oh, okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Then went to the studio, and it was just cool, man. Like, it's cool meeting someone. I like, what is, like, I got you, I got you, man. I didn't even think about that. I'm rude as fuck. My fault, my <laughs> fault. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, you know you guys are like, this and that. My bad. The, um, the, it's, it's disappointing sometimes when you meet, like, you know, like your idols and stuff, and he was just one of those people that was just solid and exactly who I thought he was going to be, so that's what, that's what the fuck I like. Yeah. A lot, not my turn, right? A lot of people, they, the kids, they were they were kind of shocked too because they didn't expect you to really like really you really was uh, making with these burgers. making burgers yeah. and chilling with them like yeah. you know taking pictures, sitting down with them and eating with them. So they was like they was chill with that. Yeah, you get that a lot from the kids. Like they don't think that you're gonna be so cool. Just like how you felt about Fred, they looked at you the same way. I think that right now it's my duty to show that like. Like I just want to eliminate the word celebrity from our 
from our civilization you know what i'm saying like no one's above anybody i don't ever want anyone to feel like it's necessary to not say hello to somebody and immediately go to asking for a picture you know like these these people aren't zoo animals and these people aren't even sweet half the time you know what i'm saying these dudes are like you know what i mean like they do they do what they do they have great voices they have they you know they 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 they're pretty or or good looking or whatever the fuck it is but they, dude, they bleed the same blood we bleed. They put their fucking pants on one at a time. And at the end of the day, half these fools are corny. So it's like, why even put them on a higher pedestal than you? Because, look, man, I could have just served a burger to the person that's about to be something. You know what I mean? You don't know. You don't know. Yeah, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Just because, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, why? Just because we're in Queens, we got to walk around and be all fucking blue. Like, nah, motherfucker. Like, I, like what, what are you, what, like, like I, I can't understand. What do people come to the, the, the spot and they don't make the burgers? I'm confused. I tell that, that's the coolest part. You want to show people, like, yo, because at the end of the day, before I was rapping, I was flipping burgers. So that's why it was just like, oh, this is home. Yeah. It's, it's nothing you know right what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. So, so what can you tell us about the new music material you got working on? I know you're on tour with Limp Biscuit and all that. So, what's up with the new music material, and when can we expect some of that? So, I'm a, I'm I'm doing finishing the sophomore album. Uh, it's gonna it's um gonna be released through Interscope. Okay. The same 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 situation. Um, so I, I'd assume that we'll hear a single within the next you know month something like that and we'll start to hear like that first real taste of what the second album is. I I have a clever way of releasing the title, so. You know, I, I think that's something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get that first. Let me get that first. As soon as you get that, send it over right, so right, I can break right, it for you. Right, yeah. I know, who to, I know who to call to. Don't oh, worry yeah. about it. I know yeah. I know who to call. Word up, man. MGK out here in Queens. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, dude, appreciate fuck you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank Thank you, man. Definitely you. appreciate you for stopping by, man. Weekend work, Shade 4 5. Well, what do you, tell them your Instagram and all of that. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, if it's meant to be, y'all will find me. If not, I, you know. He don't give a fuck. You can reach him at, at Coach PR. Yeah. Uh, send your titty shots to at Coach PR. Yeah. All at pussy DJ. shots at Coach PR. Since you don't want to tell them the people what it is. At DJ underscore Caesar, man. We can I also work. don't want motherfuckers to think that social media runs our fucking lives in the way it represents who we are as people either. You know what I'm saying? That shit doesn't make me the person that I am. You know what I'm saying? Judge me by what you see in my motherfucking eyes and in my face when you're two feet away from me rather than 20,000 miles and looking on what I'm like on the internet. So that's why I don't push that. If you find it, that's cool. I take some cool pictures. I do some cool shit. But other than that, like, shit. Yo, that's real. And there you have it, man. MGK. Shade 45, weekend work. Weekend work.